Do orthotics actually improve athletic performance? Let's test them and find out. Hey, what's up, Zach here. And as a foot doctor, I am constantly seeing athletes just about every day coming into my office who have bought orthotics claiming that they can make you run faster or jump higher. So I put together a series of tests to see if there's any truth whatsoever in these orthotics actually improving your game, whether it be tennis, basketball, whatever you're playing on a court surface, or if you're just training. And for these tests, I chose two different kinds of orthotics, one being one of the most expensive you can find on Amazon. This is the Victory Carbon Fiber orthotic runs for about $200 US carbon fiber based and one being one of the cheapest you can find on Amazon. This is the Power Step Pinnacle Max. This is polypropylene and more plastic based. It runs for about $30 to $34 US. And make sure you're sticking around to the end for the final results because there really is some actionable information for any athlete looking to level up their performance. And so for my first of three tests, I actually want to see if these will make you run faster. And since this is a court sneaker review channel, I want to see how fast they make you on an actual court surface. So I'm going to start off with my standard suicide test because if you're playing tennis, basketball, pickleball, paddle, whatever on a court, you're running side to side just as much as you are up and down. And so for this test, I'm using the New Balance 996. It's a pretty stripped down tennis court shoe. There's really no bells and whistles on it. So it'll really accentuate anything that the orthotics kind of do to the shoe. Now on that first day on the 996 on the suicide test, 15.18 seconds, which is actually a little bit of a slower time for me. Here's the reason for that. Like I said, the New Balance shoes are pretty stripped down. And on day two with the Victory Carbon Fiber Orthotic, 15.06 seconds. However, on day three with the Power Step Pinnacle, I came in at 14.90 seconds, which to me was a significant improvement in my time. Now, the interesting thing about this test was the Victory Orthotic actually felt a little more secure than the Power Step because it's such a thinner orthotic because the carbon fiber, so your foot sinks into the shoe a little bit more. Whereas the Power Step actually gave me a lot more energy return because it's just a thicker plastic, it's a little bit stronger. Whereas because the carbon fiber was so thin, it just kind of bent under my foot, so it didn't give me as much energy return as the power step did. Now sticking in the speed category, the second test was average heart rate. Because if you're gonna wear an orthotic for long-term performance enhancement, it better decrease the workload on your body, which would, in theory, lead to a lower heart rate. So to test this, I ran 15 minutes in my normal mile pace, all starting from my normal resting heart rate. What was interesting is over time, the power steps actually did lower my heart rate from 138 to 132 versus just in the New Balance 840s and the 840s plus the victory. I think what that really shows is number one, I'm just a little bit of a heavier runner. And so with this thin carbon fiber, once again, I was just kind of bending right through it. So it wasn't giving me as much energy return and it wasn't giving me as much shock absorption versus the power steps, which kind of cradled my arch a little bit better and gave me a little bit more shock absorption. All right. And for the third test, I want to see if I can jump higher in these. So I actually have two tests within this. One is just a standing raw jump test, see how high I can jump. The other one is my normal serve test, which I take the average of 10 serves and see how high I can jump into my serve. It was interesting, just from a standard cold jump test, trying to get my max jump height, my max heights were actually pretty similar with the victories coming in at 32.5 centimeters, the power steps at 34 centimeters, and just my standard shoes, the 996, 31 centimeters. But then again, once I started taking the averages over time, like on my serve test where I take 10 of them and I average them together, the standard New Balance 996, no enhancement, 23.2 centimeters, the victories at 24.75, and then all of a sudden the power steps again pulling head at 27.75 centimeters. Which brings me to my overall thoughts about orthotics and leveling up your performance. Surprisingly, both orthotics consistently improve my stats. And I found that really interesting why the power step was so much better on the serve test when you took an average of 10 serves versus it was only a little bit better versus just when I tried to get my max jump height. And then it comes down to consistency over time, just like in that heart rate test. Because we're in the max jump height, I was really taking all of my body weight and really trying to do one big jump. And I just took the best jump of all of them. So really, you can max out even if you're not in the best setup if you just really concentrate. Whereas over time, the cream of the crop does start to rise and that's where the power steps are doing much better than both the other ones. But does that mean that the power steps are just the end all be all orthotic or that the victories are just not that great of an orthotic? Well, neither really. 
but it does highlight the fact that not every orthotic is good for every foot and that not every orthotic is made equal. In the case of something like the Victory Orthotic, which is made of carbon fiber, remember for a carbon fiber to be comfortable, it has to be pretty thin, but for it to be thin, it's gonna be pretty bendable. And for somebody a little bit heavier in weight like me and someone with a really high arch like me, my arch just isn't going to meet up with the arch of the Victory Orthotic, and therefore I'm just gonna bend right through it. However, if you're somebody with a little bit more of a normal arch, a little bit of a lighter weight player, and you're looking to stiffen up a shoe, then the Victory Orthotics are gonna be pretty good because it is a nice way to get a carbon fiber plate in your shoe, because even someone like me who's overweight and with a very high arch, it still did improve my stats even by a little bit. But on the flip side, why did the power steps improve my performance so much more? Well, simple biomechanics. They just have a higher arch on them, they met my arch, and they brought the ground up to my foot better. Therefore, I was able to use the resource of the orthotic just a little bit better. Also, remember, power steps are pretty stiff. You can't bend them nearly as much as you can bend these ones. So the more potential energy you store in these, the more kinetic energy they're gonna give you back. They're just a little more stiff and they can handle the weight of my body a little bit better. But the biggest thing comes down to trying a few of them and see which ones help you the most. In terms of raw performance, yeah, the stiffer the orthotic and the more it cradles your arch, the more it fits your arch, the better performance it seems like you're going to get. That's why custom orthotics usually do better than over the counter. I usually explain to my athlete patients that a custom orthotic is gonna be like a Cadillac, whereas an over-the-counter is gonna be like a Chevy. Both of them are gonna get you where you need to go. The custom is just gonna have a little bit more bells and whistles. But after making this video and seeing all the raw data and numbers, and as well as just how I felt in these orthotics, I'm definitely going to be a lot more aggressive when it comes to prescribing orthotics for people, especially athletes. Because with a lot of the athletes I treat in my office, as well as on this YouTube channel, I'm dealing with a lot of athletes that are trying to extract just as much performance as humanly possible. Possible. And a lot of times people are just looking for that little bit of an edge, that extra little millimeter that they can get. And a lot of times at the highest level of sport, especially tennis, basketball, whatever you're playing on a court, those little millimeters can count between winning and losing, especially also in my practice where people are trying to look for ways to stay out on the court longer and to prevent those long-term injuries. But remember, not every orthotic is made equal. And even if one does give you a boost in performance, if it's not comfortable for you, it doesn't really matter because if you can't tolerate it, well, then it's not really gonna do much for you anyway. But for sure, if I was able to extract a noticeable amount of performance increase just from an over-the-counter orthotic, that really bodes well for custom orthotics. Now, I'm actually having a pair of customs made right now as we speak, and we are gonna test those out to see how much better even a custom orthotic is from the over-the-counter. Now, if you wanna see that video, make sure you subscribe down below. And if you wanna see all the other ways to extract just as much performance as possible out of your shoe gear, make sure you click into the playlist up above. I'll see you in the next video.